Hello, it is Chelsea and welcome to today's video. This is going to be some summer days in my life, a little um, peek into my last week of summer break because in-service starts very soon. Um, today we are doing some shopping because we got an email from our district that we are going back to professional attire. They let us wear jeans during COVID and now they're saying, all right, we're going back to dress pants. And uh, turns out I'm not the same size as I was back in March of 2020. So I'm looking for some new work pants. I am in the outlets in my town. I'm going to try like Gap, Banana Republic, Little Navy, maybe J. Crew and Express. We're just going to be bop around to all the stores and see what we can find. Checking out my new clothes. All right, so I'm back home now and the boys are sniffing everything out. They are very interested in my new clothes. So I am going to, <laughs> hello. I am going to show you everything that I ended up getting today. I feel much more prepared now that I have a bunch of new clothes that I'm able to wear to work. Because before today, I had approximately two pairs of work pants. And that would be insufficient. So, I am going to go ahead and show you everything. The first store was Gap. And at Gap, I got these, like, chino pants. They're called the Girlfriend Khaki. They're, like, a slightly wider leg, which I don't typically prefer. But I honestly didn't mind them when I tried them on. And I really like the color of these. Also at Gap, I got these, they're called the Easy Pants. So they are elastic waist with a drawstring, which is like a little casual for me, but like on, they look like a good teacher pant. So I think they are allowed. Hi, Jonia, hello baby. At Banana Republic, I found the most comfortable pants ever. They were amazing. And they are called the Air Stretch High Rise Taper. I got them in two colors. That's how you know they are good. Once again, they are elastic waist, but the material of these and the way they have like a button make them look nicer than the Gap elastic waist ones. So this is what they look like. They are super stretchy, so stinging comfortable. Like they are as comfortable as sweatpants and I'm allowed to wear them to work. Wow. Joni, you are so stinging cute. So I got them in the black color and also in this pretty olive green color. Love it. Don't worry. The two greens are different enough that they are both a-okay. Next up from Express, I found these pants. They're called the Columnist. These ones are again elastic waist. They don't have any kind of button or zipper or anything so they're super smooth across the waistband. Still have like the nice dressy pockets on the back. And oh my goodness, again, so comfortable. I got them in a short size because the, the like regular size was a little too long for my preference. I like them to be a little bit more cropped. So I went ahead and got a pair in the short size. They had a few different colors of these, but this was the only color that they had in the short size that I needed. Then at J. Crew, I found some navy pants. They're called the Jamie Pant, again elastic waist. Listen, when my school took away comfortable jeans from us, I'm like, I need to find the most comfortable work pants out there. So that was what my goal was. So elastic waist on the back, nice and smooth on the front. And again, super comfortable. These are really light and airy and I don't have any navy yet. So I was glad to find navy in this pant. Then also at J. Crew, you probably saw in the clips, I did get two dresses. One of them was on clearance and it ended up being $5 at checkout. It's just a black t-shirt dress, but it's long enough that I feel comfortable teaching in it. And it's just very comfortable as t-shirt dresses are. And then the PS de resistance. Oh my goodness. I walked in and I saw this dress and I was obsessed. Obsessed. It's 
I don't remember what this material is called, but it has like those little bumpies and I've always wanted something with little bumpies. And this is, bless you, Ollie. And this is so stinking cute. The lady who got me my fitting room was wearing this exact dress. She's like, you know, we have another color, right? And I'm like, what? And it's like an army green, olive green, and they didn't have it in store. So they were like, oh, we can order it to ship to your house. I'm like, yes, please. So a green one is coming as well. I'm thinking if the green one comes in time, that'll be my first day of school dress. If it doesn't, this will be my first day of school dress. It's just so good. And then a couple of things that I did not film. I did stop in to Target and I found these pants. They're like a... I don't know what this pattern is called, but it's like that really tiny plaid pattern. And again, they are elastic waist. They are a little bit of a wider leg, but they are nice and loose and comfy. And then my very last stop on the way home was TJ Maxx because I wanted to look for some nice shirts that would go with my new pants. Here's the first one, black and white stripe with some ruffly sleeves. Then we've got a basic mauve pink v-neck. This pretty greenish blue v-neck with a pocket. A nice dark green top with some pretty patterning stitching on the shoulders. And then just a basic black tee. So those are all of my new teacher clothes. I am so excited to wear them. Not excited enough for school to actually start yet. I can hold off on that a little bit longer. But yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and just do some boring tasks around the house. If I do anything else exciting, I will pop in again. But for right now, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> All right, so it is the next day and something exciting has happened. I got a big old order of Amazon stuff from my classroom wish list. Actually, two of the things I purchased, but the rest was stuff from my wish list, and I am going to share it with you all. So the two things that I ordered were these, let me open it, I don't know why this box is so wrecked, were these gray hanging folders, hanging file folders. These are going to be for my seasonal, like, original copies so that I can stash them and have them organized in my classroom. And then I also got a roll of elastic string. And the reason I got this is because from my wish list, I got beads. So we are going to be making bracelets on the first, maybe not the first day of school, but like during the first week of school. So I've got my bracelets and my, or no, I've got my beads and my string and we are good to go. So the other stuff from my classroom wish list, I got a new stapler. You know, I dealt with some rough staplers in my classroom and this is a good one. It is one finger stapling, it claims. I think it's like spring loaded or spring action. And so this is going to be very handy. I got three games that I'll use for indoor recess. This one's a math game, so I might pull it out in like math small groups sometimes, but we have trouble. I don't know how you pronounce this. Maybe add smoothie, muddy. It's add, subtract, multiply, divide. It's basically 24, but different. And then classic Uno cards. And then I got a whole bunch of new picture books, which I'm so excited for. I stink in love books. So a lot of these I'm actually planning on using within the first week or two of school. So I got Pencils on Strike, The Invisible Boy, The Magical Yet, Waiting is Not Easy, Classic Elephant and Piggy, We Don't Eat Our Classmates, All Are Welcome, and two more Jory John's books. I got the couch potato and the smart cookie. I think I have the whole collection now. And side note, I am just so obsessed with the aesthetic of this book. It is just so cute. So that's my little Amazon classroom wish list haul. Thank you to everyone who donated. I appreciate it. If you haven't donated yet and you would like to, it is linked down below in my description. There's a couple more things on there. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to cutting out some lamination. There's always lamination to cut. Hopping back on again, it is a different day because I got a couple things from Amazon yet again. I am always getting Amazon orders. Um, the first one I ordered, oopsies, I ordered some new beads because I didn't have quite enough when I was sorting them yesterday. So I got another pack of the alphabet beads. I was a little short on the letter R. Each of my kids is gonna make a bracelet that says third. So I was like sorting out all the letters that I needed and I needed some more R's so I just got a whole new pack. And then I got another color variety pack of the pony beads because I realized 
maybe not everybody, especially the boys, would like cute little pastel colors. So we got a pack of like more normal colors. So I'm going to continue sorting the beads. Each kid is going to get a little baggie that has the letters that they need and two of each color. So I have like the pastel beads in. I will sort these beads in next. But I also got a mystery package, which means it's something from my wish list. Probably, unless I just forgot what I ordered. It's a wish list order. And it is my string lights. I got these for, I am thinking for the front of my room above my whiteboard. So stinking excited. So now that I have those, maybe I'll go into my classroom tomorrow and install them. Ooh, we shall see. But for right now, I'm gonna continue sorting beads. Such a tedious task, but it's gonna be so worth it. It's gonna make that day of making bracelets with 22 kids a lot easier. So it is once again the next day. Um, as you can probably tell, it is a gross and rainy day. So I am actually headed into my classroom again. <laughs> um, only for a short while. Um, I just wanna drop off all of like the Amazon stuff and other stuff that I bought. Um, in my classroom and there's a couple other things that I made that I want to get hung up in there um so I shouldn't be there long but before I go I need to do a couple of errands I have some Amazon returns and I'm going to check Hobby Lobby to see if they have that last sheet of orange scrapbook paper that I need for my window display so I'm going to go do those couple things and then head into my classroom all right so I am here I am in I'm getting my stuff all unpacked um, I really don't want to be here long. As soon as I walked in, I could feel my anxiety rising and I just don't want to be here right now. I just want to go home and relax for the little bit of time that I have left. So I'm going to try to just bang this stuff out today. I'm probably just going to like time lapse it all and not talk much just so I can get it all done. Um, so yeah, let's go. before I leave today I hung the puzzle time sign I got my math and writing boards with their headings up and I got my little backdrop for when we do our first day of school pictures I've got that Polaroid frame and they'll stand in front of this like sparkly background I also just did like little boring tasks like getting my um, school year file folders ready and getting <laughs> stickiness off of desks with some goo gone um, I was gonna hang up those lights that I got along the front of the board, but as I was doing it, I think I'm going to prefer them along the back wall, like between the bulletin board and the number line, um, which means I'm gonna need a crap ton of command hooks. So I'm gonna go buy those and just hang those lights at another time. But I'm feeling accomplished. I didn't spend too long here, not even two hours. So that is good. I'm going to head out though. Call me crazy, but I came back to school. <laughs> So I could hang the lights up today and I'm obsessed. So I've been home for a little bit now. I took a nap and then showered and now I'm gonna have a little self-care time and do my nails. So I'm gonna do white for my toes and then for my fingernails, I'm going to use these Kiss and Press nails. So we're just gonna have a little chill time before we really get into the swing of things. Um, tomorrow in service starts and a week from tomorrow the kids come. So really is like dwindling down to the last moments of summer. I am going to wrap up the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the little halls and bonus classroom setup. You will see more videos from me. So stay tuned. I'm not sure if I'll vlog at all during in service just cause I feel like it's gonna be a lot of professional development, but you will definitely see me once school starts. Hi Jonah. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.